All right, this here is a beautiful 1972 Ford Gran Torino with the 351 Cleveland big block in it. Ooh, man. This is a original title, original little California pink slip, original blue plate, one owner, automobile. Some guy bought this thing brand new and took care of it, maintained it, and just, it's a nice little car. I'm gonna do the once around here, show you basically the once around, and then I'll go up close here and show you any minor flaws or major flaws if you think they are, which the worst of it you can see right there. That's the worst of anything on the car, really. Just super clean. Oh, the original um, window up and down, the electric motor even works. Um, you got your original wind deflector there in the back. All the trim around the windows just gleams at you. The rocker panels, oh, they look great. I love these one and two owner cars. Um, any old car is going to have some problems or some little aesthetic things that just aren't exactly 100%. And after I do it once around, I go up and show you all that stuff. If you watch my video, you ain't got no surprises coming. But I get one and two owner things that are just clean and I describe them for you right. I want you to see what you're getting no matter where you are. You can call me at 406-544-6919. My name's Nathan. My website, www.serialmarshmallows.com. And um, you can also go to www.missoulaautoauction.com. But let's go ahead and get going on this and show you the stuff that you're going to want to fix or that you're going to want to see. I'm going to start on this door. Right back here, you got some fading. And the paint generally overall has some fading. Little bubblies right there. Little pot metal chromey handles have a little bit of stress marks in them. You can see, I hope, with my shadow. I'll give you a little sunlight view too in case you see it better that way. Wheel well trim and rocker panels look great. Just great back there. Door right there, right there. And right there is just metal peeling off. It's got the bubbly right there. Gonna need a little fixation right there. I think some point he's painted it because I see a drip mark going across there and I hope you can see that too. Rocker panel trim, like I say, looks great. He dinged it right there and it kind of bent that lip, wheel wheel lip trim up. I've got three hubcaps. We'll have that one. Wheels are the same color as the car factory paint on the wheels. Tires have plenty of tread, but they're old. And you got some dry rot in the sides. Wheel wells, just a little patina on them. Solid as can be. Just amazing how original the car is. Original black paint on the frame on this side. And you can see under here how the rock chips took off some of the black paint everywhere. And you got the little patina on it from like that. And you can see where some of your little rubber parts around that might need to be replaced around your little tie rod ends and stuff. Um, he dinked this barely right there. And this one might be a little bit off, not much, no buckle in it right here, as you can see. But there's a ding right there. Chip up right there. Hood ornament's missing. This coloration in the hood, general, just kind of burnt off paint and he probably got the original paint burnt off then upgraded and that's burnt off original blue plate car and you can see the hangers off a little bit here this one's pushed down this one's pushed up but it's straight and even got that piece nice and straight too this side's had some black rust killing rust proof and stuff put over it and I do that on some of them, but I want you to see what you've got. You're dealing with here is not a rusted up thing. Very, very, very solid. I mean, it's just an ouch almost. You know, and it just kind of got that paint gone off of it. And it needs to be kind of fixed up a little and have a seal coat put over it, in my opinion. Once again, rocker panels, just great shape. Wheel well trim on this one, not as great a shape. Uh, general rub off of paint. Glass is good condition there. 
Might be a chip somewhere, but I don't see it. Glass going out of size is good. Let me get these out of here. Pull them up here. Um, oh yeah, a little bit of that on the door right here. Not much. Let me show you under it. The floorboards are beautiful. I love these California cars. That's why I bring them back to Montana and export these because they're they just ain't got the rust that everything else has and sometimes you get it this is the worst spot on the car back here in the rear quarters where it gets it so new patch panel or welded in along the top here around the windows where they get it it's got a couple places trims beautiful a couple bubbles here roof racks in great shape your chrome on your bumpers is in great shape. You got a little corrosion on the top surface of it here. And a little this right there. We got a handful of keys here. But I can't remember which one fits it. There we go. Locks and locks. Window works just fine. Gonna need to replace this piece of rubber gasket there, weather stripping underneath. The exhaust has been replaced, I think. I think that's how this is supposed to look. Don't know. I don't know, I think it looks bent back here. Oh, it does look a little teeny bit off on this side versus this side. It is a little off. Might have to have a little straighten when you re-chrome it. Just a clean car. Somebody's taken care of it, had it his whole life. You gotta expect some flaws and damage on it, but you know, along with the trim and stuff, just in great shape, the old pot metal. This here's got a lot of little scratches and surfacey type stuff. Might as well show you this. I had it. I've locked it now. Look at the condition of this seat. I don't know if he ever had anybody sit in it. I don't think they did. I just really don't. All the plastic stuff back here, let me... This closes down. Latches too, everything great. All the latch works great. Your audio box, audio box speakers are pretty old. Um, this piece actually locks and unlocks the way it was meant to. Very rare on these. They're usually sun-baked and no good. You can see the black window goo there that holds it on. And that's usually why they start doing this on the sides. It's because you get a little moisture. Like I say, same thing right here on this side. You got the corrosion there and this be your wheel with the paint and the other ones all have hubcaps um, I don't know if I showed you on the top of this one you got the sunlight there little corrosionary areas little bubbles here and here in general make sure I showed that and general discoloration on the top. Door handles are that pop metal type stuff and got some little stress marks and I'll show you in the shadow and out. There you can see both ways. Like I say, floor pans and stuff. Just absolutely great. And that's pretty much the once around here with the twice around and showing you everything. Name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919 show you under the hood and inside of it and all that good stuff www.serialmarshmallows.com click on blog and you can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale also www.missoulaautoauction.com and um, you can see a lot of pictures and stuff on there I always got 180 cars or so make sure and click on my other videos here and watch them and subscribe to my channel I always get neat, clean, interesting unique classic Euro and muscle cars and one and two owner stuff is a lot of what I get
floors are in good shape. Carpet needs to be replaced. You got a tear there and a hole coming in there. But if you looked at this side, it's in good shape. The front seat's the one that's got some tears in it. The old boy actually stitched it up <laughs> everywhere on it. He actually stitched it all up there. A couple slices. Now my guy will redo this seat for between 160 to 250 bucks. I will throw in a set of speakers for $25. These are 140 watt under factory warranty. I'm a distributor for Pile and Lanzar and I'll make you a great deal on them. Your um, dash is cracked up. That's it. You do dash pad. Headliner's in good shape, but you've got a tear there, a tear there, one right there. But in overall good shape. Now the back seat, kind of almost just unbelievable here. You got the grandma and grandpa tablecloth cover, and it did its job, man. It kept these things looking great. I didn't have the heart to take it off. I just didn't. Um, I looked at it, I went, man, that's ugly, and it's turning yellow on top of there. And then you see what it did to protect it for all these years. I'm a sucker. I, I love it. I think it's awesome on there. I, I'm leaving it. You can take it off if you want. Um, back to these seats, it's amazing how clean this is. And I think if my guy did it, he's going to take the whole thing out anyways. But you may just want to replace the front piece here. He could stitch that right back on there to this piece because it's so much tight and it's in good shape. And, like I say, back seat's good. Look at the door panels. Just somebody's taking care of their rig. That's all it is. Um, I don't remember how to do this. This folds down, though, by the way. Oh, yeah. Little button, right? There. And then it's your work truck. Yeah, buddy. You couldn't haul some 2x4s back there. I don't know. Put them on your roof rack. <laughs> now, I've worked in a heck of a lot smaller car doing brick and block and throwing cement in my car. And let's see, this here door panel is great shape. That, you can place a little discoloration on top. Put this down and take this back up for you. Like I say, great shape under there. You can see on the pot metal it's discolored inside a bit. On the back windows and stuff. Back window cranks. You can see like on the little knobs. Front ones are in a lot better shape. Got the owner's manual and everything. That's cool, you get the owner's manual and all this stuff. And an important message oil 12, 20, 30, or 10, 2, 30. Yeah. There's one over here where he... Release emergency brake. You can get his wife in line there. Woman, I told you release that emergency brake when you drive my car. Okay, maybe he didn't say that. But I did. Um, oh wow. Inside the door right there. From the back and the front. One of the drip, drip molding things got plugged or something. And... It's strong and sturdy. Weld a little piece in there and do it to it. Antenna's broke. I'm going to have to set this down again to show you inside the hood. Thing runs good. It's got good running motor in it. However, it needs a carburetor. Um, kind of just won't suck up the fuel right and then starts leaky and yeah it's just not a good car um, but very clean 351 Windsor big block um, looks to have had new valve cover gaskets put on it 
at some point here. And that intake manifold's been off too. These one owner cars people do maintain and take care of. That's your motor. Got a piece of cardboard in here for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, they probably, oh, to make sure that that don't ground out. Uh-huh, see? There's a reason for everything. Wax on, wax off. Call quick, man. They're already calling on this thing. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Um, even though the carb is not, the, that's annoying, ain't it? The best working carburetor around. I'm going to go ahead and give you the crank in and let you know it is what it is. You got a free spinning motor, free spirit car here. I knew I wouldn't get the first key the first time. Second, okay. I mean, runs, cranks, just can't get the fuel up there. And if you run it off a little fuel, it doesn't. Believe the fuel pump's working fine. And our last assessment was carburetor. For so long, they think the way they. AM radio. Factory air conditioning car. No, I'm sure it doesn't blow cold. Actually, I'm not sure it don't, but a little bit of that trim coming off there. Like it does with that tape stuff. And that's just not going to do it. Like I say, a car problem. You get under there and tinker with it and put some gas in it, fire right up. You got that coming in there. Front probably needs to be messed with a little. Man, that's about it. It's Nathan. It's 406. It's 544-6919. You need to check out my channel also if you like old, unique, classic, interesting muscle Euro cars. I got lots of that kind of stuff. Um, and make sure to subscribe. You get a little message whenever I load up every load up, load up every upload up. When I upload every other four or five videos or so, you'll get a message. Um, yeah. That's about all I got to say on this thing. It's a beautiful car. Love that badge in the front grille. Rare item. And um, call me with questions. www.serialmarshmallows.com. Click on blog. Also click on order. And we can order and get you some cereal marshmallows. Just like what's in your breakfast cereal, but none of the gross cereal. Just want the marshmallows. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. And just one last thought here. I can't think of anything else to tell you on it. So that should do it. Thanks for watching.